A very good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. I'm Greg Lamont. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stella Daskalakis. Montana becomes the 34th state to allow same sex couples to marry. This ruling was handed down just a few hours ago by District Court Judge Brian Morris. Colorado's Cornelius Hawker joins us live now with two of the plaintiffs in the case who brought the case uh, against Montana's now defunct same sex marriage ban. So joining me now are Mrs. and Mrs. Gabo, along with her son. He's running around. So ladies, we'll start with you, Shauna. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm feeling extremely elated that my marriage finally counts in the state of Montana. Um, my wife and my son are now protected equally under the law in Montana, and no one can take that away from legally bar me from ha taking care of them for the rest of my life now. And what about you, Nicole? I'll have to get a little bit closer to you. Uh, yes, absolutely. It's super exciting. It's a great day for equality here in Montana. And Shauna said, Shauna said it best, you know, what does this mean for your family now? It means that up until now, I legally, if something happened to my wife, they would call her parents. And if something happened to me, they would call my parents because they didn't legally recognize their marriage. So um, it means that we can file our taxes easier. It means that um, if something medically should happen, if there's an, our home, our house, everything, all our property, there are like 360 some odd laws that were not obtained, we didn't have access to now that we do, that our marriage is considered equal. And you mentioned some of those problems. Can you tell me some of the problems you ran into before this? Oh, the biggest one was taxes. Last year, we, in 2013, we had a son. And our biggest issue was um, at the end of the year when I tried to file my taxes, I could federally t file jointly married. But in the state of Montana, I had to try and cut our whole life in half, our bank accounts, our son, everything, try and divide it so that we could file in the state of Montana. And so the big question here is, are you ladies going to go down to the courthouse tomorrow to get a marriage license? We already have a marriage license, but we will be at the courthouse from 8 to 12 to help every couple celebrate their marriages, and we welcome them to the world of I Do. It's a great place to be. <laughs> Sounds good. So stay with us for the 6 and the 10, and we'll have more information about this developing story. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio now. Thank you very much, Cornelius. Montana Family Foundation Executive Director Jeff Lasloffi released this statement saying, in part, today 295,070 Montana voters had their votes nullified by one judge exercising what amounts to a super vote. He goes on to say, while we're disappointed in the decision, we will not despair. We will not throw in the towel and we will not give up.